if Avengers Endgame theories are your thing, you're in luck because the internet is full of them. As the world ramps up for the Marvel Cinematic Universe's global event on April 26, 2019, it's easy to get wrapped up in tiny details, speculating about Hawkeye's family, Shuri's death, and much more. But the only people who know every little detail are those who've seen the movie, which is a very small number at this point. LR, Anthony Russo and Joe Russo, Alberto E. Ray Rodriguez, Getty Images for CinemaCon directors Joe and Anthony Russo are the keepers of the keys, and they're experts when it comes to keeping quiet. What they will tell us is how close people have gotten to the truth. Who are the Russo brothers? If you haven't heard, the Russo brothers are the men behind Endgame, but they're more than that. Before becoming huge names in association with the MCU, they were perhaps best known for their work on comedic series like Arrested Development and Community. They plunged into the superhero world as the directors of Captain America, Winter Soldier, which earned them its follow-up, Captain America, Civil War, as well as the package deal that is Avengers, Infinity War and Endgame. Here's what they had to say about fan theories The brothers have to deal with a lot of excited fans telling them their theories about what happens in Avengers Endgame. They're very good at dealing with this, refusing to confirm or deny anything in the chance of spoiling important or even little details. In an interview, Jake Hamilton asked if anyone had ever gotten things exactly right, either about Endgame or Infinity War, and if that caused them to panic. The fans are so passionate and they spend such a long time living with these characters, thinking about these characters and they're using their imaginations to follow where these stories could possibly go, said Anthony. Sometimes they're wildly off, sometimes they're kind of next door to what might happen. Nothing's ever that close. You can get kind of close but nothing's exactly right. Our mission is always to surprise people so we try to make really surprising choices. I don't think that anyone predicted that we would end Infinity War with killing half the characters, added Joe. That's the job, be disruptive. Break up the Avengers, make the good guy the bad guy in Winter Soldier, he said, referring to Bucky Barnes' role in the franchise. They go to great lengths to keep these secrets there's a lot at stake when it comes to the MCU, and the Russo brothers aren't taking any chances, even when it comes to the actors portraying these characters. When asked about the decision process of determining who knows what, they were very coy. Firstly, it's definitely based on what the actor needs to know to understand their arc, their character, what they're doing in the movie, even if we're not giving them everything, we want to give them context, said Anthony. He added, we almost think of it as like we're doing a favor the people, it's hard to have all this information that you can't talk about. Of course, some still want to know more about what's going to happen. Hamilton brought up Tom Holland, Peter Parker, Spider-Man, who is famous for leaking information, to which Joe joked, that's why we killed him, referring to his dusting in Infinity War. He added, you know who else used to ask a lot of questions was Benedict Cumberbatch, who plays Doctor Strange. That's why he's dead, too, sounds like a good lesson for the other actors to learn, keep your mouth shut, and you'll stay alive. Check out the cheat sheet on Facebook.